Drones could soon join the arsenal of other tools to help fight wildfires. They've been described as pickup trucks in the sky to take critical equipment to the fire lines. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie went to a demonstration today of a hybrid drone being developed in Santa Cruz County. As wildfires grow in size and scope, a new drone is in development to help fill a gap to support fire crews. It's a first-generation hybrid drone that could be a much-needed workhorse to airlift equipment or supplies. But what we don't have is something that can carry a heavy payload for a long time to, to drop critical supplies off at the front line of the fire, to do large-scale prescribed burns, and even to suppress spot fires. The new drone is made by Parallel Flight Technologies, whose CEO is a former Tesla engineer. The 125-pound drone can carry a 100-pound payload and stay airborne for almost two hours, compared to 15 minutes for a battery-powered drone. We were invited to a demonstration of this test rig that was carrying 60 pounds of fire hoses. With engineers at the controls, it flew over a dirt runway and delivered its payload several yards away. Its hybrid power system is what sets it apart. And that gives the aircraft stability. It gives it the ability to, to handle higher winds and the, the extended flight duration. Scott Watson, a retired CAL FIRE Air Operations Chief, has been consulting on its development. So it fits in right side by side essentially with, with helicopters, but it's not going to you know, supplant the, the role of helicopters. The, the idea is to add another tool to the toolbox. While production is still a year away, Parallel Flight showed off this pre-production model. It has raised $10 million from investors and has support from NASA, USDA, and the National Science Foundation. In Santa Cruz County, David Louie, ABC 7 News.